this is where uh, you can find the keywords. Uh, so this really hasn't changed much. It's, it's been like this for years. Uh, I'll, you'll see um, two slides from now that, uh, that they actually change the location of where you see your search terms. But do you see there are those keywords? Some have pluses in front of them. Some have brackets around them. So what I want you guys to notice is none of those keywords do not have either pluses or brackets. And that's incredibly important and I'm going to, and I'm going to tell you why. So if you look in your Google ads account and you see keywords that don't have pluses, quotes or brackets around them, I can promise you this, you're probably uh, wasting a good deal of money on irrelevant searches. So, um, just going over this again, a search query is when someone makes an actual search on their phone or computer. It's when someone Googles something. I really want to hammer this home because there's so much confusion around that. So, uh, you know, someone makes a search, a keyword gets triggered and an ad is shown. And now, of course, I just added this slide and now it's, uh, you can't see it. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Anyways, when you do go to uh, the uh, search term report, um, you will see what you see on the left-hand side of the screen. And so um, you'll, those, those are actually these right here. These are all user generated. So these are actual searches um, someone actually made. And as you can see, I got this screenshot from a, um, from a limo company that's in Orlando. And so, um, as you can see, limo from Disney World to Port Canaveral. And so there's just so much data that can be had from this search query report. And that's why it's unfortunate that Google's going to hide a lot of these uh, search queries because uh, that's really how you create a really good campaign. Now on this next slide, um, so actually let's go to this, uh, this slide again. So do you see this keyword here, or I'm sorry, it's not a keyword, it's a search query, uh, also called a search term, limo from Disney World to Port Canaveral, right? So that's what we call like a long tail, uh, it's a long tail keyword when it's actually in your account. So we could make a keyword out of this. And so we would just put quotes around this. So limo from Disney World to Port Canaveral, we just put quotes around it and make that search query into a keyword. And so really our search query report allows us to make our campaigns better because we get real data on what people are actually searching for. And so here's another example, um, you know, limo from Seattle to Vancouver airport. That might be, or limo from SeaTac to Vancouver airport. That, that's another example of a long tail search. And long tail searches are really powerful. Uh, because they are so specific. And when someone makes a query like that, it's better than someone just searching something like limo service. Because limo service is kind of like, it's very broad and it's, it's just not that specific. So um, you, you definitely want to have lots of long tail keywords in your account because those are gonna be people that are, um, that know exactly what they're looking for. And, and more on that in the next slide. But the search query report will just give you more ideas for keywords. And the truth is you, you do need to find, like start up an actual campaign to start getting this data, which again, if you're starting a brand new campaign in September of 2020, it's gonna take two to three times the amount of spend to get that same data because of the change Google made, unfortunately. And um, it's really what makes the account, you know, so valuable that data in the search query report, because a limo company in Los Angeles, their search query report is going to look like night and day from someone in New York, right? Because in most of these searches, you're going to see locations in them. Um, like for, for instance, for this one, transportation, Seattle airport, C, I'm guessing, I, I believe that's the SeaTac uh, airport code to Pike Place Market. And so um, you just get a ton of valuable information. 
And that's why, you know, working with, uh, you know, if you find an agency that's done a campaign in that market before, they're going to have a wealth of data already on kind of what works. So you're not, you know, starting from scratch. But if you are starting from scratch in your whole market, just know this, it's going to take some time to accrue the data. Uh, and it really just takes an investment of ad spend. So it might take a few thousand dollars to get enough search query data to really build a really uh, rock solid campaign.